Good day, students. We are in part three, and we're going to be steering on the foundational drawings. We're going to be looking at from our slab down, from our beams, or columns, and our footing, our part footing. In the case of this foundation that we use on this building, now let's go right into it. Here, in part one and part two, we have accomplished our walls. Our flow thickness, our wall thickness, our, raft, our rafters, our common rafters, our ridge, our pole lines, our galvanized. And uh, we want to draw uh, what is supporting this building, right? It must be supported by other aspects of the building members. And we know that what carries with our building is uh, columns and beams and foot you know the type of foundation that has been used in this instance if you go into this foundation plan you're going to see that, that the type of foundation have been used is what is defined as part footing right so this hidden detail line indicates that this it has been in into the soil into the ground right and we're going to put what exactly is supporting this building. If you look at the cutting plane line again, we would see that the cutting plane line cuts into the, to the beam here, also into this beam. So one, two, three beam has been cut, right? Has been cut. And also we're gonna, we're gonna see the different beams coming across on the building, right? Also, we are going to also indicate the landing, right? And the railing in this building, as, in this drawing as well, right? So the beams below the, below the slab, right? Uh, we're going to use 250 as the vertical height of the beams. 250 by 250 beams we are using. So we're going to offset 250 down. 50. Right, and then from the 250, we see that this building is on columns, and so we had a he has a stairs, he has a flight of stairs. So we notice that it has at least about 10 feet, which is 3,000 millimeters. So we're gonna offset from the from the beam. We're gonna offset. 10 feet, which is 3,000. And then from this, from the 10 feet, so this is our ground level. From our 10 feet, we're going to go three feet, which is 900 millimeters. So I'll set 900. And we're hoping that that's going to give us solid. So we're hoping this line here is going to give us solid. So we're going to draw down our columns. And our columns, we could actually take the distance of our columns into the plan. Our columns are the same 250. All right, same 250, our columns. Same 250. So I could actually draw down my line. And I can offset 250. So 250 by 250 columns. All right. All right. There are some columns in the background that we, we can draw. And these columns are in the background. So I take a thickness of my columns. And I'll take from here. And in the background. And this here. What I can do, I can just simply copy this line. 
and I'll okay, well, set it on this PC tag right here. Right? And then I want to erase this. Also, I cut into my my beam. Yeah. This is my beam has been cut. Right, nice. So once I have that here, once I have this here, right? I'm gonna bring up my this line here, right? And I'm going to trim from here, here to here to here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna go for my beam. Beams a light. It's a light line. So I draw it from here to here. This represents my beam. And this point here. All right. Now this is below ground, right? I can actually use the same thickness of my pad footing come down. Oh, I can. I can this trim all this, right? I can get the center of my of my column. I can get this end of my column. No, not at all. Right, so I can get this end of my column here. This is the end of my column, and I can offset 450. All right, this gives me total. So my entire mat and my entire pad below this column is 900. All right, 900 by 900 uh, pad foot we have. Also, the thickness, I'm going to see the thickness of that pad below the ground. I just want to see the thickness. And that thickness is usually 300 millimeters. And this is going to be my pad footing. I'm just going to chamfer. This is my bad footing. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to move this across here. So this indicates my pad footing for below of my building. That's what is supporting my, the, all the weight of the building is transferred to the pad footing and into the soil, which is solid. All right, this line up is at my ground level. What I'm gonna do now, I'm going to I'm going to get my slab, I'm gonna get my landing. I'm gonna see that thickness of that slab. So I'm gonna bring on the total width of my my staircase. And I'm going to draw a line from the top of my landing, from the top of my floor come across. Now, if I go to go back into my flow plan a bit, all right, this line, this line here represents that there is a step up into my building, all right? And that step up from the landing is usually 100 millimeters, 
to 150 at times. So I'm going to offset that 100 millimeters downwards. All right, and I'm going to erase this line. So this is my landing here. So when you come here, you step up four, you set up 100 millimeters, which is four inches into the main building. This also has a thickness, all right? And that slab, I mean, from the stickies, you can make it as thick as five inches, which is 125, it could be six inches. Let's make it 150. So thickness, 150, keep everything at 150. And we're looking in this direction, all right? So on top here, on top here, we're going to see, right, the reading from here, right, is about three feet, about this, about a thousand millimeters up from the, from the, so the reading is about a thousand, one thousand upwards, so I'm going to give you my reading height, right, and I'm going to draw, come down from here, this is the thickness of my reading. My reel in here. And uh, this thickness of the reel is usually two inches. Right, so it could be 50, 50 millimeters. Or 75, you can make it 75, three inches, 75. 75. But times you have a distance from the floor. I could offset 50 from the floor. Alright, I could offset the same 50, 50 from the floor. And then all my readings and the thickness of my reading now could be 75 from the distance from the floor. 75. I can find the midpoint. So I'm going to draw my ballistas. I will offset 30 both sides. All right, and there's some simple readings. I can space them probably 400. Part. Right, on both sides. All right, some simple readings. Also, based on the, the reading I've cut, if you go back into the cutting bin line, I've cut the reading downwards. So they are reading coming down this direction, and we're going to see some in this direction. We're going to see one because they're in alignment, right? So just center, just center of this portion here. I'm going to draw a line over this line. And I'm going to also draw a line that I will, I'm going to erase after. Draw a line from this point. I'm going to copy this baluster here from this point center and transfer this to this point center. All right, I'm going to extend my reading. So, all right, and this is going to give me the outline of the landing. I'm going to see my reading, my ballistas, right? Looking at direction from E, A, E. All right. So this is these are my members. My so I've added my beams. I add my columns, my ground level, which is here. And this ground level, we can extend this ground level as far as right here. This ground level. Alright. And below the ground is 900 millimeters to give me my part footing. Alright. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing. Alright. Uh, we're going to get into the into part four. Alright. And see you there in part four. Blessed to you.